Okay, now this is uh, for section C, question 9. So a bucket of water is pulled up of a well using a rope. Figure 9.1 shows the rope winding on the cylinder as the handle is turned, so it turns like this. Okay, so we need to take note that um, the radius of this uh, cylinder is actually 0 0.12 meters. The, between the axle to the end of the handle is 0 0.40 meters. Okay, so these are just some of the little details in this diagram. Now it says the empty bucket has a mass of 1 kg. When the bucket is full, it contains 2.4 times 7 minus 2 meter cube of water. Density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. Calculate the mass of water in the bucket when it is full of water. Okay, so we just want to calculate the mass of the water here. So because we know the density, we know the volume that the bucket can contain. So we know that to find the mass, it will be, sorry, um, we know the formula density equals to mass divided by volume. Okay, so to calculate the mass, it will be equivalent to density times volume. So we know that this will be equivalent to find the mass will be equals to 1000, the density, multiplied by 2.4 times 10 to minus 2. What you're going to get is 24 kilograms. Okay, quite a simple question over here, just applying the um, formula of density equals to mass divided by volume. Determine the total weight of the bucket and the water. All right, determine the total weight of the bucket and the water. Now, this is asking about weight. So we know that W equals to M times G. But I need a bucket and the water. So just take note, this is initially asking for mass in part one. Part two is count finding for weight. So please um, do take note of such differences. So the mass here we know is 24 kg, but I need the bucket, the mass of the bucket also. So 24 plus one. Now, um, for G, we know that for on earth is generally 10 newton per kg. So W equals to mg, what we're going to have is 215 newton. So the weight will be 215 newton. Another simple two marks over here. Okay, it says the radius of the cylinder is 0 0.12 meters and the handle is 0 0.40 meters from the axle of the cylinder. So this is the thing that we highlighted over here just now. They say the weight, and the, the, the weight of the bucket and, and water produce a moment that acts on the cylinder. Determine the moment due to the bucket and the water. So the bucket is over here. The rope goes over here. This axle. So I want us to take a look at it in terms of the view, uh, looking at from this end. So we're looking from this end. This is the cylinder. The axle is over here. The axle actually also we know would be the fixed point. Okay, then there is a weight. The weight of the bucket is actually acting along here. Okay, so this is the weight of the bucket plus the water. So we know that the distance here is 0 0.12. And then there's this handle over here. So this is the handle. Okay, maybe I should use a different color to draw the handle. Okay, this is the handle over here. So this distance is 0 0.40. Now, to find the okay, to find the moment due to the bucket of water. Okay, I want us to take a look at the um, question again. So we know that this is the weight due to the bucket and the water. This is the fixed point. We, to find the moment, we need to take the force, which is the weight, multiplied by the perpendicular distance, okay, from the line of action of the force to the pivot. So it will be 0 0.12 meters. So we're going to find moment due to the bucket and, wa and water. Moment of bucket plus water. This will be equivalent to force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. This will be 215 Newton multiplied by 0 0.12. So what you're going to get here is 30 Newton meters. Okay, the moment is 30 Newton meters. Find the minimum force on the handle, on the handle that balances this moment. So do you take note that we, this, from this view over here, from this view, from this view over here, Okay, the weight produces an anti-clockwise moment. So the handle needs to produce a clockwise moment. Okay, so this is the at the handle, the weight, the force at the handle. 
okay we need to produce a clockwise moment so what we can you do now here is apply the principle of moments so using the principle of moments using principle of moments okay because there's only one moment for each of them so we just take the clockwise mo anti clockwise moment must be equals to the clockwise moment so you know that the bucket produced anti clockwise moment so it just be 30 the clockwise moment we know must we need to calculate so we need to find out what's the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is actually this 0 0.40 meters okay so if you have to do a bit of the math what you're going to get is 75 newton so the minimum force required is 75 newton now it says the farmer pulls a bucket of water up at constant speed okay he needs to exert a force on the handle that is greater than the uh, then the calculated value in C part 2, though greater than 75 Newton. It notices that there's a slight increase in temperature when the axle is in contact with the frame holding it. So suggest why the force exerted is greater than the value calculated. Okay, so the first thing is definitely, um, you know, it feels hot. So the increase in temperature is actually due to friction. So... Um, a greater force is required okay, due to friction. Friction, where did the friction occur? Friction between the axle and the cylinder. Okay, what's the second thing that most probably would uh, that we did not account for? Now one of the things you realize is that we take it that the weight that, that we are trying to lift is actually just due to the bucket and the water. However, do take note your rope itself also has mass, it has weight. So another possibility is that, um, okay, so maybe due to a greater force required due to the weight of the rope. That's another possibility. Um, the next one is that the rope may wrap uh, the rope you can see it goes round and round the cylinder. So this 0 0.12 may not be a correct indication of the perpendicular distance. Okay. So as the rope wraps around the cylinder, the perpendicular distance increases. So quite a few reasons here. So just pick any of this and I think it will definitely uh, help answer this. So this is the end of question nine.